All right, time to go ahead and uh, continue on. Let's go and talk to Mira a bit here. Now, I need hardly tell you that but any attempt to negotiate with the tribes is doomed to fail unless their minds can be first be rested from the grips of the gods. And so in the meeting we seek to arrange with the kobolds, I would have you free their leader of Titan's influence. Leave it to us, we'll open his ears to reason. Get my thanks, ere we proceed, there's something you should know. Some fifty years passed when Sarah again swarmed at our holes in ever greater numbers, Limsa entered into a covenant with the kobolds. To men shall go the bounty of the sea, to kobolds shall go to the bounty of the land. Up since the equitable arrangement comes to be lacking in detail. Aye, inadvertently or not, the wording was ambiguous, and we took the advantage of it, moving in to claim the northern reaches of Laosia, which the kobolds believed theirs. Bloodshed followed, then bloodshed to answer the bloodshed. And on and on it went, until every elm of Vilbrin bore the stain of our conflict. This is not history, you understand it. It is the present, fresh and raw. And with the hundreds' blood yet on our hands, we struggled to regain the kobolds' trust, even should we cure their pen tempered. Admirable, you speak of obstacles that we are like to encounter at the meeting, but as things stand, I see no reason why the kobolds would agree to a meeting in the first place. And so I must provide a reason. I will store their stone crystals to them, and personally live with the cargo along with my apologies. Bait. That would welcome us into the midst not to speak of peace, but to have you at their mercy. Aye, and given the wealth of the crystals we'll bring, I rage they will attempt to summon Titan there and then. Being a high priest would need to be present, to whom we can avenge the cure. Precisely, he is the fish out of catch. He will not be alone, nay, he will have guards in hand. And they will lay down their lives to protect him. Yet a single death on the cobalt's side would jeopardize our chance at peace, and there, and there my venture flounders. Yet it need not. What if we were employ the con Conqueror's Chain, though we'd still have weakened the cobalt to allow us to subdue them without inflicting lasting harm? The artifact misboard used to take goods and not life. Aye, oh, yeah, that would serve. Hold well on, Marshal. So friends, what think of you of our strategy? The effects of tempering are cumulative, and we may safely assume that the High Priest's exposure to primal influence is extensive. It will therefore take a great deal of ether to reverse this effect, so that I mentioned in time. A time during which LSA would be defenseless, even though even should we all look to protection, I'm not convinced we could keep an entire army of kobolds at bay. <clears throat> I'm happy to take that risk, it's not as if we have any other choice. Besides, it's what Tisleen would do, and had I not followed her example, we wouldn't even have a cure for tempering, much less a chance to bring peace to Vilbaran. So I'm going to cure that priest or die trying. I believe in you, LSA. I believe in you too, you and everyone. I know you'll keep me safe. It's settled then. See to your preparations to make for Camp Overlook. We will join you there, Anon. Alright, looks like we're going to be uh, dealing with the influence of Titan on the Kobolds, first and foremost. I wonder if that means the 5.5 storyline is going to be about uh, taking the influence away from other uh, nations, beast tribes. Where am I heading exactly? The Camp Overlook, okay, yeah. Let me, uh, I think I have a thing for that, don't I? Yeah, I do. Okay.
Alrighty. Alpha Love wasn't lying when he said I'd be defenseless, so I'm counting on you all to give me the time I need. Our sole purpose will be to keep you at harm's way, so leave that to us and focus on your own task. Indeed, should you want for either, you only need to say the word. Gabu, did you follow us here? There's something important that I want to say to the High Priest. Express state, say. Please let me come with you, please. I'm sorry, but it's too dangerous. I need you to promise me that you'll stay here where it's safe, alright? My apologies for the wait. It took time, but we secured our audience. All on foot as expected. At the mention of my returning the crystals in person, the Cobalt suddenly remember how keen they were to be re reconciled. And so the glorious speed of cooperation will be received by Patriarch Zada of the Second Order, who awaits our pleasure in the naval. If you're ready, let's proceed to the Alcamaro Mines at once. Alrighty. And the mines are way off this way, but we can fly over everything, so it's fine now. It's weird seeing this place from above, though, I have to say. Can't go that way. Uh, I guess technically we have to go down here, okay. I have something for these, apparently. I don't know. What do I... Okay, those are on my Maelstrom en entry. I guess I have one. Okay. And they might be out here more so, so let me go ahead and just check outside real quick. seeing any out here, so. I guess it's the ones inside, okay. Nothing here is going to touch me anyways, because I'm like 40 levels above them, so. But it's probably worth trying to get the other two for that entry, since I'm not really here that much. Honestly, I have no idea why I even killed that one that weren't going to attack me. It's kind of just having to look around for them, I guess. There's one. They're not very common, it seems. Okay. Okay, there's one over here, so let's go ahead and just kill them real quick. And yeah, that does it. I'm actually kind of curious about that hunting log. I guess it's stuff all around here, because I don't really spend much time at Limsa, so it's kind of like... Okay, now there's a couple around the shroud as well, I guess. Huh, okay. Done all the stuff for the gladiator one, at least. Yeah, we can go ahead and just get on out of here now. Looks like we're heading for, like, a... Small spot over here? I'm not actually sure if we can get through here, can we? Nope, we have to go all the way around, okay. <coughs> Wish I'd seen that earlier. <laughs>
out of the way. Yes, either right will bear us to, to our quarry. Should we make the summon Titan, I anticipate we'll halt the ceremony and restrain him. At this, all hills will break loose, and we'll have an army of kobolds to entertain until Anasai's work is done. Just remember, the nun must die. We must weaken them and let Anasai do the rest. It's time. Stay the course, my friends. I spy copper waters beyond the squall. Alright, let's do this. Greetings, Patriarch. I am Merlwib Lufisvin, Admiral of Limsa Liminsa. I come before you to offer my sincerest apologies for the many wrongs committed by my people against you and yours. <laughs> you were foolish to come here. Stupid, unwise foolish. The Great Father shall have your souls for your folly. Aye. Just as we thought. Now, Alize! Quickly! You don't need to tell me! Let none pass. We must grant her as much time as we can. Yeah, I probably should put my tank stance on just so I can gather everybody around. Or they have it on, never mind. <laughs> Soft real quick. Okay, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> them over here a bit.
Okay, things are still going okay. Here you are, Alexander. Is there something coming from behind? I thought I heard a noise. Or maybe not, I don't know. Bomb! Jeez. This one's probably gonna take a lot of kill. either god I'm still doing stuff yeah. Yeah, I can't do slow against them Fight, fight back. <coughs> All 
All right, let's do it. Did it work? What? Ah, ah. What is the meaning of this? I'm sorry. But they died by your hand. You sacrificed them to summon Titan. that there were a cure for the victims of the Tempered. Gabu! What are you doing here? Patriarch! Please listen to me! Hear! Heed! Listen! summoning is false. He only hurts us and those we love. For a long time, his voice filled my mind. He told me to do terrible things. Awful, unspeakable, terrible things. But I didn't give in to it. And you mustn't either. There's been too much pain already. So please, end the suffering. We share this child's desire, Patriarch. An end to summoning, for it spells naught but misery for both our peoples. For many long years, man and kobold have feuded over territory pillaging and perishing for the earth beneath our feet. It may be said that we fought to survive, but what we have sown in blood, we have reaped in suffering, and it cannot go on. I would see us set aside the past and work together for peace.
It was wrong of me to hurt my own in the name of the Great Father. Sinful, evil, wrong. But that doesn't mean there can be peace between us. Men cannot be trusted! The bounty of the land was to be ours, and yours the bounty of the sea! But you broke the pact! Violated, breached, broke! Unready as we were! What choice had we but to call upon the Divine to rid ourselves of your tyranny? None. And I do not blame you for it. In violation of the spirit, if not the letter, of the pact, we took your lands for our own. The fault lies wholly with us. On behalf of all Lamincens, I offer you my humblest apology. I pray you'll find it in your heart to accept it. Yet I know an apology alone will not serve to make things right. So, we will revise the pact to leave no room for doubt, and any who violate it shall face justice swift and certain. No, we won't be fooled. Not again. Please, hear me to the end. Fleeting though it was, there was a time when man and kobold abided together in harmony, in cooperation. In those days, your people shared the secrets of smelting. Knowledge which allowed Limsa Liminsa to thrive. Much of what we have, we owe to the kobolds. And so, for the good of all who dwell on this isle, I wish to make you an offer. We will bear your people's wares to every corner of the world and trade them in your stead. In return, we will bring you the bounty, not only of the sea, but lands both near and far. Whatever you desire, the Navigator as my witness, you shall have it. There will be no more man and beastmen. Just the crew of the great ship that is Vilbrand. And together, we will share in the wealth of the world. If you'll only accept our hand in friendship. We want to believe you. We truly do. But we believed you before and you betrayed us. Fooled, deceived, betrayed us. There are bad men, it's true. But there are also good ones. And the ones before you are the best of them. They were always kind to me. Caring, nice, kind, and I trust them with my life. Before I became Admiral, I was a pirate. I stole. I fought. I stained the sea red with blood. Such is my past, and I dare not forget it, however much I might want to. That is death penalty. The pistol I used to pass judgment on my own sire when he fell thrall to Leviathan and betrayed his comrades. It's loaded. If you were to point it at my head and pull the trigger, I would most assuredly die. Though it isn't much, my life is the single most valuable thing I possess. If it will suffice to atone for past wrongs, take it. A single bullet to annul the old pact and my blood to write it anew. What comes after, 
I entrust to this man, my second in command. I know that he will do his utmost for the happiness of all who call Vilbrand home. I do not trust you. Not yet. But Gabu does. And I will trust him. We want you to know that we respect your faith. There's nothing wrong with giving thanks to the land which sustains you. But summoning is different. Should you hear of anyone who would attempt it, we ask that you appeal to their better judgment. Or failing that, seek our aid. We're always ready to help. Many and more of my brethren are yet enthralled to the Great Father. Just as I was. If you could free them too, I would be grateful. Appreciative, thankful, grateful. Tis we who should be grateful, Patriarch. I thank you for affording us this chance. That was rather tense, but overall it ended up doing fairly well, I think. To assume we found a way forward with the kobolds, next we'll help the Second Order to free their attempted brethren from thraldom. This is far from the only Order, of course. It will take no small amount of time and effort to reach the rest, but reach them we will, however long it takes. <clears throat> I would say that was in your debt, but that has long been true, so instead I will say thank you for helping us plot a new course not only for Limps and Losa, but all of Arizel. Future is rewritten. This is the last quest for 5.4. <coughs> right. Let's return to the Rising Stones. Admiral, something strange is afoot at the floating city. Breathe, man. What is it? I think it's best you see for yourself. Please, come with me.
What in the world is that? A tower? You can see it too, then. I feared I was losing my wits. One moment I was patrolling, as usual, and the next it was just... there! Yes? This is she. I am. I... I'm looking at it. What? Understood. Send the Elder Seed Seer my regards. The communications officer. It seems this isn't the only tower. They've sprung up all across Eorzea. Nothing more is known, only that they appear to be of Garlean construction. Our allies on the Alamegan front are on highest alert. Forgive my directness, but would you join them? They may well need the help. Of course, Admiral. We shall make all haste. My thanks. I will return to Limsa to weigh our response. Look for Commander Hext when you arrive in Alamigo. And may the Navigator speed you on your way. got a mysterious tower that just kind of popped up out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting that for the uh, next thing, but... <laughs> the floating city. I don't actually see the tower, though, is the thing. I have to go to El Amigo, if I remember correctly, yep. I wonder if there's a tower here. Thank you for coming so soon. I'll send for Commander Aldin at once, and we can decide what to do about these infernal towers. The palace! After them! Here, good.
Well, well, well! To be received by such an illustrious cast! <gasps> Why? Even the hero of the piece is here! I feel quite starstruck. Is that... Asahi? His body more like. You don't fool us. Oh! You saw straight through it! Anyone would think you dealt with Asians before. Permit me to introduce myself. I am Fandani, and may I say what a pleasure it is to finally make your acquaintance. Towers, what are they for? My, straight to business, is it? Suit yourself. It is my intention to recreate the final days. To which end I have distributed a collection of rather ingenious devices, or towers, which will, in time, give rise to the grandest of spectacles. The final days? But it was the Asians who labored to prevent them. You're quite right. Though I would expect no less from one responsible for eliminating my unsundered colleagues. Honestly, the three of them were obsessed with restoring the one true world. As a sovereign individual, however, I never had much interest in such things. I mean, why bother when you're just another sundered minion? Admittedly, Elidibus was not convinced by that argument. But thanks to you, I'm finally free of his incessant nagging. Free to use my powers as I see fit, to fulfill my heart's desire. And my heart's desire is to lay this half-broken world to waste, leaving nary a fleck of dust behind! What? Why would you want such a thing? Because I want wretched creatures who ask such meaningless questions to die! You! And you! And you! I want you all to die! And I want to die too! Oh yes! I want to die! and take everyone with me in a paroxysm of pain and suffering! I'm different, you see, from the ancients who clung to dear life and from you. So don't bother trying to reason with me. You will find I have no reason, or creed, or any such tripe. I just want to destroy the world. But please do resist with all your might. It will add to my enjoyment. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes peeled, for the curtains have risen on the spectacle to end all spectacles. We, the Telophoroi, shall be your performers and this very star our stage. I nearly forgot. I have a message for you. <clears throat> My esteemed patron, Lord Xenos, eagerly awaits you at the heart of the chaos. While I wish only to destroy the world, he exists solely to relive a certain, hmm, transcendent moment with you. And it is for that reason he would reduce all to ash. 
Pray see to it his dreams do not go unfulfilled. For if you should disappoint him, my trusty companion here, whom I've dubbed Luna Bahamut, will burn your cities and everyone in. Everyone out! My men will tend to the blaze. Thank goodness everyone say, if we manage to put out the fire, they're not quickly enough to save the garden. Raban, can I leave it to you to send word to the Alliance? I'm going to take a unit and investigate the tower. We need to find out what it's for. We'll go with you. No, you won't. You'll rest. From what Mirlob tells me, you're due some time off duty. Should we learn anything about the tower, we'll be sure to share it with you. Until then, I want you to rest. Raban, if you need our help, don't hesitate. I'll take care of both of you. <coughs> All right. Well, it looks like we're heading back to the Rising Stones. It's quite an entrance for this character. And Lunar Behemoth. Or Bahamut. Given that we know with Inuark the moon's going to play a big part, I guess that lunar bit does make sense. I wonder if that means we'll see more like lunar versions of the primals then. Alrighty then. Now you're back too. Good. We received reports from the Alliance. Since we're all here, perhaps those who bore witness to the events in Alamigo could trace the rest of the first hand account. No sooner do we overcome one problem than another appears. It would all seem tendency predictable, but the endless variety of our foes. This Vandalian sounds even more hinged than his patron. Unhinged, perhaps, but no fool. For all the pantomime theatrics, he gave away little about his plot. Well, you know that he intends to recreate the final days, and that the Talos will somehow facilitate this. He also called his dragon Lunar Behemoth. Let's not forget that little detail. And the creature did resemble the descriptions I've seen of the Elder Primal. That may be, but the fact is, it answered to Vandaniel Van would suggest that it's not one and the same entity. I think it more probable that it's some manner of circularum, born of as, as then magics. Whatever it is, we, for now we can keep up closely with the Alliance and remain vigilant. I believe that concludes our news. What are yours, Shistola? I've been to see the Sultana. Knowing how quick the immortal flames are to dispose of their tempered, I judged it best to provide them with a cure first. As soon as I sufficiently recovered, I traveled to Udal and delivered the Porxies to her grace, along with detailed instructions on their use. Yet my visit chanced to coincide with the arrival of some troubled tidings. The immortal flames had been on the cusp of agreeing to a truce with the Ambajah when negotiations abruptly collapsed. The Amajala claim that a number of their kind have been ducted, and that men are responsible. Not as none of the perpetrators as yet, but as the immoral flames went above investigating the inductions, they came upon one of Fandalian's towers. 
On the subject of the towers, it may be interesting to learn that they are not exclusively Urzanian phenomenon. Going to the alliance, they've been sighted as far as a field as Yangcha. It would be, seem reasonable to assume that they're everywhere. We simply have not found them. Well, you said yourself, we could do a little for now, say, remain vigilant, and since we are dealing with a dragon, ostensibly at least, I believe it would behoove us to enlist the aid of an authority on such foes. Estinian. Estinian, now just a moment. If he could be persuaded to the endless as Lance, I would be first to welcome it, but the truth is, we'll struggle to even find him. <laughs> you let me and Crow worry about that. We'll sniff him out, no matter where he's hiding. If indeed he is hiding, he... He have We have ways of locating him regardless, so if there are no objections, we shall depart at once. Well, rather than sitting around, I think I might go to each of the city states and educate them in the use of porxies. Now, I doubtlessly appreciate it, but might you consider taking a moment to rest before leaving? You'll be fresher for the tasks we had. Well, my friend, our moment of triumph did not last long. There's never the way. The world often needs saving. And save it we shall. I, for one, will not intend to allow a nihilistic madman to take us all to the grave with him. Not when the future holds such promise. Nay, I'll do all my power to protect those I whom hold who I hold dear, just as you have always done. And that concludes 5.4. Just got 5.5 .5 left. Been back by now. I'm gonna go and find them. Oh, thank goodness for that. The piles have been driven as planned, and the first of the beasts has roared to life. Moreover, I am pleased to report that preparations are well underway for the rest. Ere long, chaos shall reign over all the land, as befits the final days. Call it what you will, so long as my friend returns to me, fangs bared and claws sharpened, I care not. Of course, my lord. By strange coincidence, your dear friend chanced to be present when I made my declaration. I took the liberty of informing her that you await her coming, though I confess I may have singed her a little in the process. And why do you tell me this? Are you in such a hurry to die? Ah. My apologies. 
I must guard my tongue lest it be the end of me. Though, there is something to be said for such a glorious death. Better to fall to one who has it all than falter before an inferior. Huh. I shall keep it in mind as a contingency. For now, however, I shall proceed with the plan. My lord. I must find myself a new weapon. One worthy of our long-awaited reunion. Well, it looks like uh, Xenos is on the way for his new weapon, so we'll find out what that is in 5.5, I have no doubt. In any case, uh, this will end this video here. 5.4 uh, is done, like I was saying, and I think probably the next video is going to be the Rising event, since that's going on at the moment, and I can easily do that. Uh, then after that, it's going to be the start of 5.5, and uh, I'll probably get through everything up to the dungeon at that point, and then hopefully it won't really take me too long to get the rest of the equipment for my eye level. So, I'm really aiming for uh, 4, 495, I think it is. Pretty sure that's what it is, right? Yeah, I'm pretty much aiming for 495 to where I can do all the rest of the content after the, the storyline ends, because uh, some of the top, I think the top, uh, the last alliance raid, and I think the last normal raid require 495 or something like that. Or maybe it was the last trial for that storyline quest, but uh, Anyways, I'm aiming for 495 and all, so shouldn't really be that hard. I'm, my, I think my plan's going to be to uh, get everything I can to 490. Since I already have a 520 sword and shield, it's probably going to help me out with that. And I think maybe I'll change one of my rings instead of being a 491 to being a 521 as well if I can. Uh, that should easily put me to 940, uh, 495, so... In any case, I'll see you guys next time, presumably for the Rising event, so see you then.